Oh, it's that time. We're live. <laughs> Yay. Hello, everyone. Boom. Hello, Eric Theron. Ho, ho, ho. Hail Santa. It's December. It's the first win. Is it? Is it the first Wednesday of December? Yes. Yay. <laughs> I was factually correct as I checked the calendar. Yes. <laughs> Zero doubt. None whatsoever. What's up, beautiful people? You're getting ready for another Things. weekly daily Wednesday. Things. <laughs> We're talking about exciting stuff like uh, network cables and marbles. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All because I found a channel that actually does like sports commentary on marble races, and it's hilarious. <laughs> okay, that you threw that in there <laughs> because when you first said that, when you said marble racing, I'm like, yeah, they have that game on Twitch where you can participate and race your marbles. Then I realized, like, no. oh, you're talking about IRL stuff. And I was IRL like, that physical yeah. marbles. <laughs> it's like, that's even sadder. But you won me over. <laughs> You won me over with professional commentary. Yeah, it's yeah. like the dude commenting is like treating the marbles as if they were, you know, live people. It's like, yeah. huh. And then every now and then it's like, I guess that doesn't matter if you're, you know, made entirely of glass. It's like, oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a huge thing in the 70s. Oh my gosh. I had a lot of friends who. It was did those a simpler time. Yeah, because yeah, competition yeah. here. But, <laughs> I, hey, what, what, what are you happening. competing about? <laughs> waiting? Well, they'd make their own marbles. Uh, waiting, know, got and, it. And um, oh, cheating. Okay. <laughs> and uh, to get different weights and, and different stones, you know, produce better results. And waiting. That was a thing. Yep. <laughs> the 70s were a simpler time. Um, yes. <laughs> Dude. Have you, has anyone tuned into the Rocket League? Because I used to watch that like last year and the year before that on Sundays. While I'm derping around the house getting things together. And, the, you know, it was just like, all right, hey, let's have some fun. I tuned back into that this Sunday. And they're trying to treat it like an ESPN sports <laughs> broadcast. They have on like yeah. jackets yes. and ties. And they're yeah. not doing a parody of it. No, they're dead serious. I'm like, well, okay, well, we really need to work. I'm like, whoa, okay. No. Yep. Nope. Esports is a thing. <laughs> no, esports has been a thing for a minute. It's the presentation yeah. that I have a problem with. Because come yeah. on, it's like it's you know it's still a video game. Treat it like one. Right. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's so fun to watch the the you know the was on e actually yeah it was ESPN was one of the channels I used to watch all the League of Legends esports on and Dota, Valve and that was yeah I would. <laughs> very expensive sets you know it was just classic hollywood <laughs> sets because there's so much money involved it's one of the most lucrative businesses in media at the moment <laughs> but everyone here knows that <laughs> so <laughs> it's new <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> hi drummer hi Hello, Hello, pennywise pennywise, <laughs> pennywise. Mm -hmm. Let's get our lower thirds. <laughs> you can only see the tip of the head of Nori's wolf. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Because <laughs> she had to do like a big animal headpiece type of thing for one of her um, classes. And she started making a wolf, and by the time she was done, it's like, oh, this looks like the dire wolf from House Stark. It's like, yes, yes, it does. What, dead? <laughs> also, yes. <laughs> but this one is made out of cardboard, so it's been dead a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Still a better love story fun. than that last series, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> that one refused to die. That was a problem. Dude, I'm just saying, man. That last series of Game of Thrones, I didn't hate it when I was watching it because it's like, hey, more Game of Thrones, but the more you sit back and reflect on it, you're like, really? That's how we tied that they, up? Okay. They probably could have cut that down to like two episodes. <laughs> Arthur and I try to provide only the finest country music. <laughs> So 
So. Cool. I think I will go take a break real quick before you guys do. All right, we're going to start without you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to do a speed up, so we're going to try to get halfway through before you get back. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Be like the Micro Machines guy. Isn't he dead or alive? Wait. We looked that up. <laughs> we did. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the results. I think it's still alive. <laughs> I, I like that neither of us care enough. <laughs> nope. Not really. <laughs> no, nah, it's like I could reach you over here and tippy tap that in. Not going to. See, if we had Jordan, Jordan would be all over that shit. <laughs> Sometimes language. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Wednesday. Sorry. <laughs> it's 14 degrees. Hello, Justin. Did anybody buy anything fun during the Steam sale? I bought a game. I'll tell you about it at the beginning of the show. <laughs> I... Don't think so, no. <laughs> I did buy a bundle before the sale that had a bunch of um, Linux games. It's like, all right, let's pick all the Linux games. <laughs> I'll get to them at some point. <laughs> I sold out and I get the Humble Monthly now, which you can totally get through our affiliate link. Um, but I have so many games now that I don't even know I have. Uh, yeah, that point happened when I crossed to a thousand games. Uh, now, oh yeah, you have that game in your library. I do? Huh. <laughs> Controller doesn't, uh, yeah, that's the only thing I bought was a controller but how could you not buy that <laughs> didn't need it i didn't buy it because <laughs> yeah i didn't need it <laughs> didn't need it barely used the one i already had and but it's like ah why not i don't know why I bought it. <laughs> yeah well i know why you bought it it was rohit. five dollars right. rohit it was five dollars that's why you bought it <laughs> That it does speak to the um, use of it compared to a Steam Link because I saw a Steam Link new in box at the thrift store, a thrift store for one ninety nine, and it remained nope. there. <laughs> like I, I, I sit there for it. It's like, is there anything I can do with this? None. No, in the moment that the, the Valve released um, the Steam Link thing for the Raspberry Pi, it's like, oh, it's pointless now. All right. <laughs> mm. Happy birthday, Katana. Another year closer to a natural death, if all things goes fine. <laughs> yeah, happy cake day, Katana. <laughs> Birthdays. Mm -hmm. Did... Did you ever get like into the birthday celebration thing? Uh, I always hated my birthdays. Hmm. Mostly because, um, well, my parents fought a lot. <laughs> okay. So I can and tell it, you, he's not yours. <laughs> it tended to get worse on my birthday. So, yeah, no, I, I birthdays don't really speak to me. <laughs> hmm. I never remember. And then mine. they try and be nice to me, and it was really forced, and I didn't like that at mm. all. <laughs> it's like just fucking leave me alone. Language. Again, sorry. Wednesday. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. I don't keep. It, I don't do it to be. But I buy people stuff during the year, man. I don't. I'm not the, oh, it's the scheduled time to show you I love you this much money. <laughs> I see something, I'm like, and you know, if you're part of our group, hang around, old Sanovin's dropped you a gift, a game at some point. Yeah, with Nori, it's usually, oh, you mentioned you needed this at one point, so here you go. <laughs> Try to get her something like bigger, 
for um, Christmas and birthdays, but yeah. Look at Norio coming <laughs> Hey, in TV time. without overscan. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ugh. It's sold out, man. <laughs> no, that's the monitor. Oh, damn. <laughs> that's a Phillips. Nice warm. Oh my kid, it's gonna be warm. It's gonna be painfully hot. Cup of tea. And I'm going to teal it. Ah! <laughs> As <Aww>. indeed. <laughs> I am good, Arthur, and I'm always good when I'm on LWW. It makes, makes my day, it makes me happy. <laughs> are, you, are you just trying to set me up for a challenge? All right. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> then. <laughs> oh, it is the same TV? Okay, cool. And uh, kudos. <laughs> kudos on fixing the overscan. <laughs> Yay, Shay! Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah, Shay. A, the weird thing is, apparently you really do need the uh, remote for that one. <laughs> I know that this one that um, Nathan's like extended loaned me. Uh, you can pull up the OSD with a button, press on the side, and then navigate using the buttons on the side. So, and. <laughs> Oh, Pedro, I got my uh, Hail Santa mug out oh, from nice, last year nice. for our merch <laughs> section. <laughs> I hadn't used it since last Christmas. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's very nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of which, store.linuxgamecast.com. The, mm -hmm. the um, Hail Santa mm -hmm. is uh, out and about. You can get yourself yes. some festive, festive looking shirts. Uh, or hoodies. <laughs> or mugs. Yes. So cool. I'm I'm waiting. Maybe next year Ven will do the, the Santa hat on Frank and do a nice shirt of that. That would be cool. <laughs> you only got the basic menu with that remote. Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Linda. Yay! But Sorcerous. yeah, Justin. Fourteen forty p, twenty four inch, one hundred forty four hertz for ninety nine is pretty good. <laughs> That's like half of what I paid for this one. <laughs> And yeah, like I was saying earlier, that's um, this one is TN, but after you go through the calibrations, like I had to do it by eye, by like going to, to that website that has all the things, mm. and basically just lowering the gamma to like 80%, then it became um, tolerable. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know how people can run their monitors at like a hundred percent. I mean, <laughs> just kill your eyes. <laughs> oh no, the brightness is down to like fifty percent, and the contrast is like yeah. sixty, and then yeah. the gamma is down to eighty percent. It's like, all right, it looks good now. <laughs> nice. It's yeah, still not as good as the IPS <laughs> UHD screen that's right here, but mm. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this 43 inch, I have it down to 10% brightness. But that's because that I'm is sitting huge so too. <laughs> yeah. And it's so I'm, because I'm sitting close to it and also so that it doesn't um, over bright my camera. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I turn it up a little bit when I'm working. <laughs> Um, on yeah, the um, backlight brightness <laughs> on the UHD is down to, I think it's 40%. But mm. if I um, minimize that uh, blank window that I have giving off light, it's like, now I'm in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, hey! Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's uh, <laughs> very true, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, the nuclear dawn. Like, that's a. <laughs> yeah. I like being in the dark, dark katana. It's. If you have these two monitors come on at 100% brightness, it's like. Eh, eh. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, normally I have this monitor up to about um, 40%, but when I'm podcasting, I turn it down to 10% <laughs> brightness. All right, Ven's here. I'm going to go pee. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> what were you talking about, Santa hats? Oh, oh, um, because um, I, I whipped out my... My old uh, merch that you was incorrectly printed. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> I realized I hadn't used it since last year, and since that's our new merch, you have the better, more well done one now. It can see the before and after. <laughs> so, what about Santa hats? <clears throat> Hail Santa! Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I oh and I was saying maybe for the design next year you could put the Santa hat on Frank. You can do a, a vector of the Santa hat on. Well, you already have a vector of Frank. <laughs> so that would be cool. But Frank has got original. Santa hats year round. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> He's rocking that. But yeah, your new one it's much much nicer, Ben. <laughs> yeah, I had to use that nightmare scape. I mean ink. <laughs> Inkscape. <laughs> that program. Let's but talk yeah, about so... Inkscape for a hot second and just how yeah. unintuitive that program is. <laughs> for, for a vector program, too. We're not talking about, like, or you yeah. just don't understand how. No, 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 no. Vector graphics haven't changed in the past 20 yeah. years. You're doing <laughs> the exact same stuff I was doing in, like, fireworks 20 mm -hmm. years ago. <laughs> it. Like, here's, you look at Blender's interface. I, I don't know anything about Blender. I know enough about Blender to get something made if I need to. It takes me a day to do something mm -hmm. very simple. You know, somebody with, who knows how to use Blender could do it in 30 minutes. But, at least with Blender, I know I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Inkscape, on the other hand, I know what I need to get done, and I know yeah. like, I got to break this apart. I know to cut the paths and all. It is just getting around to getting it to do that to where. Yeah. And it's not me. I type into Google and the entire first page is like the first question is like, how do I carve this shape? And it's like, yeah, right? Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. All right. Yes. But we do a show. Mm -hmm. Yay! How dare we? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they aren't. That it it needs it. It it's a perfectly great program, but it is a programmer UI UX. Yeah, hundred no percent. I mean, it makes no logical sense whatsoever. <laughs> like, and there's attempts to GUIfy some things that they don't do what the image rep. <laughs> Good program, though. You get what you pay for, right? <laughs> I, uh, that's one of the things that I always see people complaining. It's like, I'm used to this GUI. So that GUI makes no sense. Mm. I got that a lot with Nori. Yeah. It's like, um, yeah, you can use... <laughs> Gimp, Gimp's free. It's like no, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I am used to the Photoshop. I need Photoshop. It's like fine, I'll get you Photoshop. <laughs> Let's see. Um, one of the saving graces with DaVinci Resolve is like um, one of the first things it says is like, "Hey man, what type of keyboard layout are you used to? You know, are you used to Final Cut, Premiere?" You know, mm -hmm. Avid. Yeah, it's nice. 
for that. You can pick yeah. and choose. And I was like, <laughs> you know what? Da Vinci. I'm going to learn this. I'm going <laughs> to learn it your way. Because I got a lot of learning to do. Which was a good <laughs> one. All right. Um... That's good. Uh, fair warning, we're going to have Star Wars credits. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm fully aware of that before we get started because I didn't have time to make them. Good to go. Yes. We would have went a minute ago, but this tea is very delicious. <laughs> I am trying to uh, exhaust all the teas that I have before I buy more. You know, I'm oh. usually 100% with that, but I bought the... um. Tetley British blend, which I commented tasted more like dirt than regular tea. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it, it's like TP tips, but more dirt. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's going to take me a minute to run through. Plus, it doesn't have um, strings in the bags. And it's like, oh. You're supposed to leave the bag in. <laughs> yeah. Sweetheart, I leave the Aww. bag in. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll not have yeah. either of you tell me about tea preparation. <laughs> That's usually what I know. It's like, oh, it doesn't have the string? Okay, you're supposed to leave that in. All right. Well, all right, gumshoe, how else would you? Oh, osmosis. No, you set it next to the cup and wait patiently and eventually... No, that's the thing, because with all the other tea bags that have the string, you're supposed to let it dip for like five minutes, and then you take it out. No, you <laughs> never take the tea bag out, unless you're a punk. Don't be punk, skids. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm going to go to work tomorrow and call everyone a punk. <laughs> Good. T t <laughs> XOXO. It's a picture of me. Like, <laughs> punk. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Don't make yeah, and I don't drink tea. Uh, Merry Christmas, I don't, punk. <laughs> I don't drink tea often enough to have an opinion. So <laughs> it doesn't have enough sugar in it for you. <laughs> oh yeah, give Jill more sugar. <laughs> you think uh, that's hyper? No. <laughs> uh, correct, Mundo. All right, let's get going. And welcome back to Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays, where we can sit back, Yay. relax, take that midweek break, and talk about all the fantastic things going on in the world of Linux and open source. I am Vin Stone. That is Jill Bryant and one Yay. Pedro Mateus. <laughs> Hello. And together with you, Pedro. we form, hey man, it's Wednesday, let's talk about Linux. Ultron. Ha! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, beautiful people? Um, it is another fantastic week. Uh, we have quite a bit of a show to cut through, but... Jill, you got a gang of stuff that I can kind of see in the notes there. Oh, right. Yeah. Steve's home and you're bugging. <laughs> yes. him, right? You're like, hey, Steve. Yeah. Hey. Steve. <laughs> Steve has been his home on vacation for most of the month of December. Yay. He's worked like literally the last three and a half months with, with only like one or two days off. So it's well deserved. And he's he, he is uh, building a model kit right now as we speak. <laughs> Well, uh, so. during my stream yesterday, I saw the BB-8 bits. It's like, oh, yeah. all right. <laughs> that That is going to be a very, very cool submarine, a very modern submarine. <laughs> well, I so know Steve was jamming about, and he's like, yo, man, Pedro, you should stream <laughs> this. You should stream that. No, not the Wiffle Ball Bat. And I'm like, yo, Steve, you should yeah. stream <laughs> making some models. Oh, yes. It, yes, I've even talked to him about that. And so. Steve was like, no, my job is to complain to other people who are doing things. So yeah. <laughs> it is my response, nay, my sole duty. Yeah. <laughs> there he There's is. so Yikes. few internet critics. So, I mean, Steve's providing a very important role. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so, and I also wanted to congratulate, congratulations again to our very own Matthew Commandon. 
Strikor, Strider, creator of Lutris, for being rewarded an Epic Games Mega Grant. Yay! We are just so proud of you. And Linux Gaming would not be where it is today without Lutris. So that's a thing. And everyone wish him a happy birthday because his birthday is tomorrow. He's gonna okay. So <laughs> 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 like a lot of you. Um, Steam had a sale. So I was like, you know what? Uh, video game? Nope. Video game? Uh, nah. Hey, would you like to buy another $5? Well, this one wasn't. Mm -hmm. This one was $5. <laughs> Didn't need it. I mean, <laughs> this one works just fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought it. And there it is. Ta-da! Um, I know a lot of you. I, I was looking in Discord. Uh, we were having all sending in our pictures of like it arrived. I know empties arrived, and it looked a bit diseased. It looked like his was in the top in the back of the warehouse. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but it got a lot worked. of sun and a lot of dust. <laughs> right. So yeah. for five dollars, <laughs> five pounds plus shipping. Why not? Let's have another one laying around. Yeah. Not the most interesting thing. Not the most interesting <laughs> thing. So I want to make a video about getting Devil May Cry 5 up and running because when I see something, mm -hmm. I'm like, this is all... Pedro was like, yeah, I thought, nope. And, you know, you went <laughs> yeah. through like, following the guides for it. So it's got the Dunevo. I can never say it. No. Denuvo. Denuvo. Mm -hmm. I hate it. Locked <laughs> me out of the game. Mm -hmm. I bought the game on Steam, registered <laughs> to my Steam account. So I'm flipping back and forth between Proton versions and Proton GE, working on a very, like, I got it down to like two steps to get it up and running for everyone. Went to launch it. It's like, you can't play. Click here. Why? It's like, you can't play for 24 hours. You've been very naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I, d I didn't know what to say. Uh, DRM, man. DRM. Yeah, man. It's like, that's what I get for no buying fun. a game. Womp, womp. <laughs> So <laughs> that's my story. Sticking to it. Let's compare apples and gnomes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's out. It's there. <laughs> Dude. Yes. Um, we got to talk about wow. that because, uh, you know, people are starting to get their hands on the Librem 5 and this enterprising young lad did as well. Mm -hmm. And he kind of walks through like, what is it really like out of the box? You know, kind of having some idea of what was going to be shipped to him and, just straight up, he's like, hey, man, you got to know this. You're not going to be able to replace your current smartphone with the Librem 5 as it exists today. Kind of want to underline that. He says it is solidly built. There's minimum wiggle in it. And it's like, that's good to know. And really surprising, the software, it's serviceable. You know, he's like, yo, the input lag with this critter, it's about what you would have expected with like a Nexus 5 running lineage. However, we got to talk about some of the other things, some of the not so good things. The first one being power management is non-existent on it right now. So keep that in mind. Also, not that you would ever use it. You can't really make calls on it because the audio is not routed to the speaker. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> um, yeah. Important, you know, in a phone. Yes. <laughs> also, your selfie game is going to be a little bit on the weak side. Camera doesn't work as of now. And when we're talking about a device that's 15.6 millimeters thick, 150 mm -hmm. millimeters tall, <laughs> and 75 millimeters wide, it is, in fact, thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. See, that this, is a chunky boy. This, <laughs> yes. look this. This, this, this looks like, okay, you know, mm. this is a first gen device. It's not bad. We're looking at, go watch the video version. Even down to here, you know, you're looking straight on, okay. All right, I'm down with this. I might pick that up. Still looking good. Okay, back's mm -hmm. not bad looking. Then we get to that tapered edge, shot. and Ooh. away we go. Yeah, look at how um, thick that is. Wow. Let's come with a screen protector. If you need a mental image, because I know most of you are listening to this, it looks like, and I get to say this not ironically, welcome to the end of 2019, it looks like a modern foldable phone. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's half an inch thick. That that's yeah. how thick that is. <laughs> it's a chunky boy. <laughs> it looks like a, it's as thick as a bar of soap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. So, um, what's what's really nice though is that the Librem Five, uh, the first impressions seem to be very positive about this initial birch batch, or at least from several other articles I I read that Librem delivered exactly what they stated. 
And, you know, that's that's a really good thing. It was very, very positive. So um, now that, you know, people are getting to test them and review them, now maybe the media will be quiet <laughs> <laughs> about their releasing. <laughs> I mean, they did put something out, but yeah, it is very yeah. much the first version that's been put out there. And the uh, mm -hmm. person who wrote the article is like, yeah, I have a Google Fi data only sim and I'm getting 130 kilobits per second. And uh, there's no 4G to be found <laughs> anywhere. So, uh, yeah. That, yeah, this yeah. is not the phone you're looking for. Might not basically. be the phone. Well, <laughs> if you bought into this, if you bought into this correctly, you're like, hey, man, as long as I get something, I know this is going to be beta. I'm going to play with mm -hmm. it and it's going to get better. It's going to get progressed on. If you were expecting a fully baked device, you got other problems. I wouldn't blame yeah. um, Libram, but, you know, Libram. <laughs> punched this up way too much with expectations or like mm -hmm. versus what they actually shipped and that's on them but hey it is out there it is a thing and that's kind of brilliant so mm -hmm. pedro let's talk about the leadest of elite hackers Yay! those who run cali linux <laughs> Yes, and now they can disguise themselves mm -hmm. to pretend that they're not uh, running Kali Linux. And uh, yeah, version 29.4 was released last week, and uh, one of the selling points is that it comes with an undercover mode, which uh, disguises the uh, now default XFCE desktop as Windows 10. It, it actually does a very good job of looking exactly like uh, Windows 10 um, 1903. And it's... Um, well, that it uses that theme that's been out there for a while, so that's fine. But something tells me because this th this theme has been out there for a while, but something tells me that the package that they use to do all of this in like a double click will be making its way out of Kali very very soon because there are a lot of people out there who don't mind you know the look of Windows and they're running Linux there so it can look like windows that's fine and it'll stop a lot of people asking questions mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah no it's uh yeah very mm -hmm. very well done yeah you know and i i thought since uh uh the other uh penetration testing and security focused os tails looks like windows xp so why not uh kali linux it makes sense and they did a more modern version of windows <laughs> which is nice mm -hmm. but this makes makes total sense <laughs> i guess it does in a way man because you know mm -hmm. to me nothing identifies you as a non-threat harder than the kali desktop so <laughs> at, at least i would yeah. maybe suspect you of being slightly malicious if you had windows 10 and be like oh you might be up to something um uh, I want to say some of the best features in this release is, as you mentioned, XFC desktop, which is the best desktop. Mm -hmm. um, and it ships with kernel 539. But also, also, ladies and gentlemen, Microsoft <laughs> going to sue somebody over that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, these themes have been around for a while. So. Yeah, I just... know, <laughs> but why, why do you hate humor and fun, Pedro? <laughs> and, and it wouldn't be the you know to your point it wouldn't be the first time that uh, microsoft microsoft has actually sued somebody for uh having any kind of windows looking thing show up on say a video or a stream microsoft <laughs> yeah i would say something about having the joke explained to you but we need to talk about firefox <laughs> yay so firefox 71.0 has been released with some very important new features. Um, one of the biggest updates on Firefox is that there is now native MP3 decoding I'm not on Linux. Support for Sailfish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so uh, it has a native MP3 decoding on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS systems, and which is really cool because the patents on the existing MP3 technology have expired. So yay! Now uh, it, uh, Firefox doesn't have to use a GStreamer and other video decoders to play MP3 files. So very, very nice. And it has a new kiosk mode aimed at enterprise users, which can be l launched with dash dash kiosk flag at the command line. And this that has been That was a very nice needed. touch. Yeah, that's a yes. very nice touch. <laughs> 
Yeah, very, very good on you, Firefox. And this will open Firefox in an immersive full screen mode suitable for customer facing displays. So this is very, very good. Hmm. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> yeah, kiosk mode was one of those things that uh, Chromium has always had it, uh, at least as far as mm -hmm. I can remember. And um, back in Portugal, um, one of the things that I did was actually set up a self-compiled version of Chromium uh, that had basically all of the Chromium branding removed and replaced with the companies uh, that I was working for at the time. It just had their branding. And yeah, it, it basically just launched into a kiosk mode and that's how they deployed like touch screen. Think like the full TV sized Microsoft Surface, but it was all mm -hmm. Linux based and yeah, the, it's proprietary. Uh, I'm still technically under NDA for it, so I can't reveal much more than that. But yeah, mm. I, I used Chromium a lot. <laughs> that yeah. is kind of neat, man. You know what? On behalf of everyone doing video conferencing and stuff like this, can we pretty please, pretty please, just give me an option to disable that Annoyatron with WebRTC. <laughs> No one likes it. Yes. I know somebody there is like, no, this needs to be there. Then the rest of the team's like, but everyone will like an option to disable. Like, no. Yes. But I, I don't care. Make me jump through nine hoops to get rid of it. But that it makes it completely unusable for like shots. We can't have that at the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and if you genuinely want me to become a Firefox zealot. They're like, yes, because I was one way back in the day. Then it got slow and I couldn't load web pages on my single core CPU. Um, it's better now. It's much faster now. Uh, give me support for Jack audio and the binary builds. Uh, Most of yes. you don't know what Jack is, nor should you. You shouldn't have to worry about it. But back to doing web conferencing and stuff like that. Bane of existence is dealing with mm -hmm. the Pulse Audio Bridge in Jack. If we could have native mm -hmm. Jack support for WebRTC, but what about Pipewire? I'd like to do it sometime before 2025. <laughs> Throw that in there. I'll be very happy to tell yes. people about it and use it. Uh, old McTorvals had a farm. E -I -O. E -I -O. <laughs> the growing ag agricultural tech sector can be pricey and ill-suited for smaller operations. These new companies aim to make it free, fair, and more accessible. Man. CivilEats.com, all this is going to be in our show notes. This is a slog throughout open source. Yeah. It's helping, I would say, you know, not industrial farming, but small to medium-sized businesses, Jill. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, the, you know, this is just what the agricultural tech sector needs to get, a, get away from big farming monopolies and expensive proprietary software and hardware. You know, I've been noticing myself a lot of wonderful farming innovations created because of the Raspberry Pi and creating FarmOS and unifying them in one place just makes sense. And it it's, works with uh, hardware and software. So this is really yeah. good for those small farms, you know, that, that and, they, and they can form their their own group using open source technology and, you know, compete against the large monopolies in farming. I know this has been a hu huge issue for years, and I'm so happy to read this article and the innovations and yeah, coming the, about. The mm -hmm. big one here are the costs, because uh, they actually give a few yes. examples. Like, yeah, you want um, something that'll track like how many acres you've got and what kind of crops they yield and how well they've been done over the past few years. You're paying like $2 uh, per acre per month, which mm -hmm. adds up a, a little bit. Uh, and then um, if you want like a consultant to come and help you and actually you know, handle more of the admin side that can go up to like $10,000 a year. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff there that you could probably easily automate yourself and just have something that would show you that information without having to pay for that person. And farm OS is, um, well, it's Drupal based. You just go to the Drupal website, you download it. Uh, there's a bunch of modules there it that so combine money, everything. So much yeah. money converting mm -hmm. Drupal to WordPress. Um, it's obscene. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's an aside. Uh, 
but yeah it is uh yeah it is completely drupal based so you download it you get your own um instance going and then if you set it up as a server if you're uh technically minded like that you can absolutely just have this go out to your whole farm and just have a little wi-fi post sending out to people's phones so they can actually check on their phones it's like okay this goes here this goes here cool it's really really nice and yeah schematics for uh tools tools are very yes. expensive and uh <laughs> there's currently like people like john deere and the other tractor people who really don't want you repairing their stuff despite you know mm -hmm. you having paid for it so mm -hmm. this is a very good you know basis to get people to start working on things and do it completely open source that's very nice yeah it's excellent <laughs> it's i awesome. like to see that and it's always good when you know open source and like organic farming like to have yes. like another like thing in common other than hippies so yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> right on with that so uh pedro what if you in fact have to install seven linux <laughs> well uh yeah. there was already a way you could do it but this is a different way a much simpler way and well you can call it streamlined it is just an sh script it's called canolo which is uh well it's an acronym for catap uh Catapultatore Automatico Nucleare per il nostro opportuno Linux Ordinario. Who are you? What have you done with Pedro for speaking good, in tongues? Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an automatic uh, nuclear catapulter for uh, common Linux, roughly translated. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is, uh, well, it, it, it think of it like a very, very streamlined um, clonezilla that uh, you don't really need to boot from. You just run this script on a an installed system, you point it at some uh, external media or even a network share, if that happens to be the case, and it will uh, take an image. You can tell it whether or not to compress the image, like to say, trim away the uh, empty space, or if you want to keep like 100% integrity and actually take an exact snapshot of what you're currently running, you can do that. And then of course you have the very same script that will let you just, you just point it at an image and it will deploy it to whatever uh, media you point it at. So that is very nice to see if it works as, as advertised. Mm. That's the big one. <laughs> because Wait, yeah, I to like- that I should immediately deploy this? Yeah, because okay. Clonezilla has been around for a while and I personally much prefer the ability to pixie boot. You just pixie mm, boot yeah. a laptop and say you have another laptop with like two terabytes worth of hard drives with a bunch of images for that laptop. Um, and you say, yeah, just put that here and it it'll is... do it reliably. <laughs> I'm old mm -hmm. and I'm lazy. Um, is this better than DD? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it uses DD. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just yeah it's a script that does more uh i think by, a good way know, of putting that is everything. if you just need to copy <laughs> one thing that's going to get you through if you need to genuinely do like an office yep. maybe take a look at this 100 <laughs> yeah yeah definitely <laughs> so when you're done with that why don't you reverse engineer your gerbil or flight <laughs> stick or anything like that because this is hidviz a tool for in-depth analysis of usb human interface devices devices communication see it, uh, i don't know grammatically correct hid devices that seems like a hid human interaction <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah it's tautology human interface <laughs> device. This, is a bit, man. Uh, <laughs> this has even got a nice little gooey uh you can play with the keyboards, joysticks, game pads, and more exotic things like weather stations, medical equipment, thermometers, <laughs> and blood pressure monitors. Think of flight sticks. No. Um, <laughs> Pedro, this is kind of cool, though. I mean, you, you like those weird flashy dribbles with like, that look like spaceships with 30 buttons on it. You don't need much to build this. C++, QT, C++. Yeah, all right, that's basic. Uh, Fedora, Ubuntu. Hey, they even have a thing for Windows. Um, <laughs> <laughs> why not throw, throw them a bone? So yeah. would, would this be helpful in like mapping some of the moon functions in some of your devices? 
Yes, <laughs> that is exactly what that is there for, for you to be able to see exactly if you push like a button on your fancy uh, mouse, if it shows up um, and what kind of um, event the operating system registers when you hit that button. I'd better not push a button, it'll... <laughs> <laughs> might, might, might stop the show. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. But... Um, one of the things that I would like, uh, which I guess is not the scope of this particular tool, is to say, if it does, if it can actually go in and poke at all the firmware bits to see what it's doing, chances are it could also flip a bit to enable something or disable something, like I would very much like to do with this mouse. Thank you very much, Mike G. Mm. Seriously. Uh, the... Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I guess they call it HID Viz, and that Viz stands for visibility. So yeah, yeah no flipping around of bits, unfortunately. Hmm. Right on. That's yeah. pretty cool. Maybe something you want to play with after you're done replacing Windows. Wait, hang on. You got a couple of things in for the. What do you want to say about the mice, yes. Jill? You got a few things. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. So um, I was just gonna uh, bring to everyone's memory. Remember that reverse engineered USB driver for the VGA to USB. B device we talked about two weeks ago. Well, HidViz is perfect for that. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, it'll very much help <laughs> if you have a, an obscure uh, bit of um, human yeah. interface devices. Uh, yeah, just poke mm -hmm. at them, see what they do. Mm. Now, can I install yes. Windows 7? Yes, oh, you can. <laughs> we can replace but, uh, it. That's even better. <laughs> if you're, yeah, if you're a Vivaldi <laughs> user, chances are you may have heard that they're saying. Maybe you should use Linux, which I, for one, am absolutely behind. But then again, here yes. I am on Yay. Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays, so I'm a bit biased. <laughs> but yeah, it is a good suggestion. And Vivaldi, they actually, they do a very good job of, in a very simple uh, article, it's like, yeah, there's less hardware requirements for you to run Linux on that old um, computer that you have. It's very easy to install. It's just a better experience all around and you don't need to worry about viruses as much as you do with windows so it won't be for everyone obviously they do uh give that a mention but like the whole post itself from vivaldi is actually mm -hmm. not bad that's yeah that's a very you know tiny and very well uh constructed article yeah i appreciate it <laughs> yeah you know and gosh uh you know, it's it's it was a great article from Vivaldi, which is one of my favorite web browsers, which all of us are using right now. Um, I'm using for show notes, <laughs> so this is awesome. But um, I am actually going to put this on my list of articles to have my students read who are moving over to Linux, because it was just it was a short read, um, but thorough and uh, simple and a good read for the average user. And I like the fact that he talked about how, um, um, you know, Linux is no longer that OS that you have to know command line for. And, you know, he was letting his, you know, the users know that that Linux has come of age now, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's, that's it, it's just a really well done article. I liked it a lot. Enjoyed no problem with it. these articles. <laughs> Here we go. Um. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> is, let's be honest, the type of person that is still running <laughs> Windows 7, absolutely not the type of person that would be able to install Linux or any other operating system for that matter. I'm mildly overgeneral. I know. Overgeneralizing, <laughs> but barely. <laughs> barely. <laughs> it's just there are those people who are still running Windows 7 because they outright refuse to run Windows 10 despite having the knowledge See, to actually work around it. Everyone focuses on that, but that is the infinite minority, though. Yeah, yes. yeah. So like, then, yeah. it is a very ones. small. Yes, <laughs> they're, they're extremely small. And you know, we had these people with Windows XP. They all eventually went to Windows Seven, and they're like, "We'll never yeah. move again." They'll go to Windows <laughs> Ten because that's all they know. They're like, "I have nowhere else to go." It's like, "Come over to Linux," but I no ah. And, and you, yeah, that that's the thing. Uh, most people will end up running Windows Ten, and. Or just, That's you know, get a new laptop. Going to be, I will say one word of advice. This is um, something I don't see people cover when they write about Linux and like switching to Linux. Your focus, your goal, your mission, should you choose to accept it. You need to learn how to use Linux, not a distribution. It's not Windows. You know, you're not learning the differences between Windows XP and Windows 7. Learn how to use Linux. Learn the commands. Yes. Learn to install drivers. 
learn to build a kernel. I know that sounds like crazy sauce right now, but mm -hmm. little or mm -hmm. programs, learn to clone a git, but that's pro. No, it's not. That's how you use this operating system. Yeah, I do have a yes. problem with people going, no, it needs to be more. It's not Windows. You need to learn the <laughs> operating system. Once you do that, you walk into any distribution, you laugh, then you make it do what you need it to do. Case in point. Hi, Debian. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm running the latest and greatest kernel with all other types of weird, un well, it's all necessities. Bizarro moon stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. How about we just run Darwin? Remember when that was oh, a thing? It's not dead this yet. Is, oh, this is, <laughs> yes. So true, Ben. This is cool. This is pure Darwin. This is a community project to make Darwin the open source operating system developed by Apple that um, Mac OS is built upon more usable by providing bootable ISOs and documentation. And the closed source elements Next of up. Mac OS, yes, <laughs> including the Cocoa framework and Aqua um, graphical user interface are not included. So the classic window maker user interface is included instead, which is based off the next step window manager after Apple purchased Next in 1998. And I actually still have their their uh, first uh, uh, beta. I still have Darwin, uh, pure Darwin Xmas running in a virtual machine on one of my machines when I when I played with it in 2008. It still was on there. It was <laughs> really cool. And the they're they're coming out they just come out with a new version actually it was it was last year and they're still working on it uh, pure darwin darwin 17.4 beta but it doesn't feature the full gui or display server but it has better driver support than xmas and can be booted in virtual box for testing which makes it a lot easier for test testing so it's actually this project has actually come a long way and their next step, of course, is to integrate the X server and window maker. And I was, you know, I had installed this project, um, ran it immediately because window maker is still my favorite all time favorite X window manager. And I live in that next step, open step and GNU step lifestyle. It's a thing. I have probably window maker installed on over half these machines in here. <laughs> <laughs> So I just I just love it and I I really think this is an awesome project because and it also uh, helps helps the general public know there is a lot of open source aspects to Mac OS and this can demonstrate that and it's it's just really neat to be able to run all those open source bit bits from Mac OS 10 just mm. awesome. That's pretty <laughs> cool. Pedro, do you have any thoughts? <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. not really. I just got very distracted by what's happening in Discord right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, oh. um, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, open oh. source based <laughs> Mac OS is always an interesting thing to see. And it is, uh, it's good to see that it's, there's still some people out there, uh, that actually care about Darwin and, you know, what it technically spawned by, yeah, it's, um, you want to talk about people clinging on to dead operating systems. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm reporting well, a bot was... right now, so you guys go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, next one is, uh, well, it comes from ZDNet. Jill, take it away. <laughs> yeah. So here is a nice, nice list of the best Linux gifts to buy in 2019 from Stephen, our friend Stephen Von Nichols. Um, a few of these we've talked about last year here on LWW. But of course, one of the obvious ones is you can buy a tax for your loved one or friend. And um, I have my tax from Zaw Reason right over there. And um, there's the link in the show notes. Uh, but there's other, you can find uh, taxes on Amazon and um, um, Etsy and other locations, uh, Cafe Press also. And um, you can also give, uh, gift your friend or family member a pass to one of the many upcoming Linux conferences like Scale or Linux Fest Northwest. And there they can get tons. <laughs> uh, they can get tons of free Linux swa swag, including T-shirts, stickers, hats, flash drives, mugs, speakers, tux plushies and other goodies. 
There's a ton of scale swag behind me. And a lot of this was free. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's what happens when you go to open source uh, conference. And, you know, there's just so many cool things uh, you can get for your loved one. Um, and some of it can be free or, you know, inexpensive. <laughs> Remember, people, <laughs> it is very important at least once a year, show someone that you love them this much money. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Put a price tag on how much you love them. That's right. That's the way to do it. If you're going to do it, head over to our store and show them that you love them this much money with penguins because we got some new stuff. Well, a new stuff because it is the season to hail Santa. We do have the new Hail Santa 2019 t-shirt for the internets is out and it's available. You can get it any Yay. color you want. You can also get a pillow uh, as long as it's in that's my what I assume Christmas green is. I'm not sure. And of course, <laughs> yes. black. We have hoodies available. And that helps support the show. And it's not crazy overpriced because I see these things, man. People want like 30 bucks for a t-shirt. F that noise, man. We'll do 1921 mm -hmm. somewhere in there. Not trying to do any extortion, but the mm -hmm. best way, Jill, to support yeah. what we do to keep us loud, keep us live, keep us independent, commercial free, and just full of nonsense like we normally are, <laughs> is to become a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. And I hear that we got a new one. We suckered one in. Yes, we did. Uh, <laughs> Nova, who is who is a, a close friend of mine from the Southern California Linux Expo. And we actually interviewed him here on LWW on um, number 176. Mm -hmm. And I interviewed him from the floor of Scale 17X. And that was awesome. So make, make sure to stay t listen to that. And he's just he's been very active in Discord. And it's just a joy to have him. Uh, Hi, Nova. Yeah, I see yeah. Nova's been here. That's one thing you can do. Man. We do have um, IRC, of course, Twitch. We got a little private, not really private. I mean, anybody can come in if you become a patron. That's like our chill place to hang out the other six days of the week. You know, I saw Nova. It's like, hey, what's up? I'm working on this thing. And today earlier, I saw uh, Matthew Okoma, you know, the dude from Lutris. He's like, I'm going to pick an LTS fight. I think Pedro started it this morning. He was like, ooh, well, to be somebody fair, yeah. said yeah. <laughs> right. I got a screenshot of Strider <laughs> getting called out on Twitter. It's like, ha ha, oh, Popey yes. called out Strider <laughs> right, in right. like the nicest way possible, pa but he totally yes. called him out. <laughs> Pedro, you were just instigating. You are like, ooh, let's see how this plays out. I'll check yes. back at lunch. Um, <laughs> it is kind of fun. You do get access to some um, early access. We don't really do paywalls and stuff. I got a new video uh, that is out for Patreons. If you're Yay. into like podcasting, audio production, and all that, I'm doing a couple of these. This one is going to be covering, uh, well, it does cover that hum, a ground loop in your recording. That can drive you up the wall. I knew I fought that evil demonic critter for a long time, covering what doesn't work, the snake oil that mm. people try to sell you, that even in the comments, like, this works perfectly. What doesn't? And two things that are cheap, under 20 bucks cheap, that will absolutely murderate that problem for you. So that'll be out. Also going to be doing a um, thing for the Devil May Cry Proton That'll be out uh, a little bit later. Oh, something I do want to mention is we did update the Amazon affiliate page thingy for the internet. So oh, yes. cool. if you go to Amazon, <laughs> we got the, I'm just saying, man, if, we, we can't say the sponsors. Us, we just, all I can say is Amazon be really angry if we did. Uh, <laughs> so, that's fair <laughs> yeah right but uh tap dance we have u.s hamburger ejectors ukt canadian hockey sticks broadfoast from deutschland and french cheese trays so basically this just tells you that if you see a link like that on the site for anything that we may receive financial compensation for anything purchased after clicking through on that link <laughs> Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which there. is something that you're probably aware of if you've been watching us long I enough. No, but I'm trying to be like legit. <laughs> I'm like reading the okay, little fair. thing. And I'm like, God. Uh, and what it's me reading the thing. It's like, how can I get around every single thing in here? Not because it benefits us, but it's like, that'll be fun. That'll be a fun thought experiment. How anyway. many qualifiers can I shove into this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me do something that's going to make them change their requirements. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because we're responsible. Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, boys and girls, let's bite into a slice of pie, something embedded, something sweet. 
This something that you can put in a box and play some tunes. Yeah. Maybe you can call it a jukebox of jukebox. some sort. <laughs> yes. And this one is uh, Raspberry Pi powered, obviously. Uh, and as is usual, whenever we cover these uh, topics, well, in this case, it is just a GitHub repo. You just go there, you clone it, you build it, and it. they do a very good job in the readme of showing you exactly what you can and uh, what you should be doing with this thing if you're trying to build something like the phony box. Uh, and yeah, it is completely like RFID, so you don't need any buttons, you don't need anything, you just boop an RFID card uh, like he's using right there, and then it'll play a playlist or a specific song or play a specific um, audio bit, whatever you set it to do. And that's that's actually awesome. It's like, yeah, no mm -hmm. buttons on the outside. It's just a box with some speaker holes cut into it. Nice. Why does it have Sonos <laughs> on it? As somebody who has a, probably an <laughs> embarrassing amount of Sonos speakers, it doesn't look like that. Yeah, no. Uh, but it does have its own uh, built-in... Um, well, it's not built in. Uh, it has a dedicated sound card because, well, yes. if you are going to be playing audio, better make sure that it is playing at the absolute best that it can. And uh, mm -hmm. if you go down at the very bottom, you actually have the shopping list of everything you'll need. And uh, yeah, there's the, um, the let's see, Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus. All right. I've heard <laughs> good the, things about that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the HDMI over um, HDMI and it's got... It's a three and a half mil to stereo HDMI audio converter. So you can route the audio out through that or say route the audio in through that from another oh, system. Oh man, you missed it. You could have said through DAC and out DAC. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay. And you can, you can use this to listen to all your favorite podcasts, including L LWW and LGC. So yep. um, what I was really impressed about is the community around around the phony box. It's so active and, and really fun. Uh, they put out a yearly calendar they produce and the fun creative builds people have done to create their own phony boxes. Mm -hmm. And it was just really fun to go through some of them. There's one that looks like, like a, um, a kind of a 3D diorama of a, a, a Tron uh, cycle map. <laughs> that was really mm -hmm. cool. And then of course there's your vintage radio ones. And I was thinking this vintage might be radio, like from the eighties. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> one to make to make it look vintage. <laughs> Is it over twenty five years old? And yes, <laughs> yes. And then there are some that were, where where people built it into old uh, uh, vintage uh, boom boxes and whatnot uh, mm. from the fifties and sixties. So that's cool. And I can see this used uh, people using these at restaurants. It's a, a much cheaper option than the other jukebox box options out there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as a former restauranteur, uh, don't do that. That person will show up in your restaurant and threaten to sue you into oblivion because you have to pay an exorbitant license to play music. Yes. Yeah, you have oh, yeah. to in play those style. licenses. BMI and ASCAP. <laughs> <laughs> then you start displaying yeah. local bands. Because you're that yeah. person. Yep. <laughs> okay, yes. maybe you know a local band that we should get a hold to. You can get a hold to us over at linuxgamecast.com forward slash contact. It's there. It's kind of easy. we got a drop-down box. Pick the show type something in. If you're trying to send us some information that includes links, mm -hmm. read. I'm going to leave that second part on you. If you don't read, well, our spam golem will say disparaging remarks about your mother. No one wants that to happen. Maybe you do. I don't know, man. I'm not your boss. <laughs> so we got a big, big one. This week, from Predator 8-Bit. Who wants to take this? Pedro? Yeah, I'll take it. Ooh. And um, yeah, it's talking about Waylon. Hello! About a week ago, I started playing with uh, Waylon again. But unlike before, I picked Gnome Shell to test with. Usually, I run XFC and test Waylon on Sway or other Waylon-specific DEs like Wayfire and Leary Shell. Uh, the almost everything works statement is true. And I did mention that on the previous... Uh, podcast but for me it's only minor things like graphical login screen gdm and pavu control crashes if i adjust the volume levels on an output device both of which i can work around using the command line a bit more so far no games uh, popped up that i couldn't play maybe because i'm on amd with the open source drivers i hope that in five years uh, even more niche cases will be covered by wayland based mm -hmm. solutions keep up the good work ouch 
<laughs> Big honking life hack right there. <laughs> Intel or AMD graphics with Wayland. Yeah, mm-hmm. you don't yeah. have to deal with the um, ongoing uh, pissing contest between NVIDIA and the rest of the Linux world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it, it's like chicken before chainsaw and all that fun stuff, but it's Wayland. You know, I don't want to, but I got I, I got a gut feeling that this is going to be the state of Wayland 10 years from now, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe not 10 years, but five, yes. <laughs> like, well, let's yeah, not go that far. Uh, <laughs> Half of that far, yes. It's, it's, it's a little bit better. I don't know. The movement, I'm, I'm just not going to say against good enough. And on the gaming side, if you get AMD, it's a serviceable thing to play with. Um, mm-hmm. I will say this is somebody who has... Uh, make questionable choices to have like production systems in their home that they can't play with can't run it it, (laughs) yeah (laughs) it's not even thing i begin to tango with i mean it doesn't work in production so good Mm -hmm. for you joe what are your thoughts oh um well as far as the gaming goes i think he's he's right about the amd and and intel because i i have recently uh tested wayland under amd uh, with the mesa drivers and it 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 did work really well with the games it's just the nvidia drivers don't always work so well mm. um but what it didn't do well was work uh play games on my uh three monitors spanning three monitors i had issues with that under wayland why do you need to play games oh, on three monitors because uh, i like the immersion because <laughs> of the panoramic Doesn't, view like I can not see having the same size three monitors jack that up horrendously because i have a 43 inch monitor like you do and my other monitors yeah. be them 28 inches that that's a little well, sliver. <laughs> no, but oh, see, here, here's what you what you do. My my previous setup was here's what you do. You play it on one monitor like a normal person. <laughs> no, that's what you but, do. <laughs> then you get to use no. Wayland. <laughs> so here's what I did. I have my 43 inch <laughs> monitor, and I'm almost done setting up my two 30 inch monitors in portrait next to it. Almost. So it looks like it's continuing. Yeah, I've got my third one. Have third, you been doing I just it with your my... feet? What's taking so long? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just got my, my third monitor stand. So, <laughs> and getting it set up. In fact, it's gonna be set up in the next week. I'm so excited. I've already got, I've already been playing games with the 43 inch and one of my 30s and, and uh, portrait so, so you're gonna have a portrait so you're cool. gonna have some weird bizarro moon resolution that's not gonna work yeah it does for it games does work. i make if you, it work yeah if you, yes. you have to tell the game to be mm-hmm. a specific window size you got to go into the configurations then whether it be <laughs> unity or unreal oh no no it's, yeah i thought you were going to get around to the point where <laughs> i'd have to waste a bunch of my time to play a game and you've succeeded 100 percent. yes oh yeah it takes time i've written articles on how to do it in fact i'm sure you've written plenty of articles on how to waste time but speaking of time we got to get out of here ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we're gonna roll the credits and play that music We'll see you next week. I mean, I can see the irony from here. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of uh, resolutions. Yep. Yes. <laughs> 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 All of our lovely executive producers, Arthur, M. Fox Dog, MT, Atomic Cast, Mike G, Barbrempt, Aldius, Aplo, Mac Geek, Scott. <laughs> Mac Geek, Scott. <laughs> Woohoo! And our producers, and of course, all of the producers. Dementor, so Mike, many. Renault, Lutris, Renee, Stephen, uh, the Soldat, uh, Steve, <laughs> Evandro, the other Steve. Steve. The uh, other Joel Steve. Steve. No. <laughs> I really Dirty question Dean. people's intelligence every time Linux they try Kineru, to read that. Sorceress, Vert Nog, uh, Kai Linux Cast, Nova Frank. King. Sub we Frank. love you all. And here's our our fine upstanding cannibal wall. <laughs> Steve O. Uh, Lutris, that picture is out of date, though. Erod, John. It's retro. Mr. It's vintage, Red. Pedro. It's vintage. <laughs> yeah, Shut we up. need to put. Need to, yes. It needs a, a Don's inclusion. And, you Don just can't M. tell because you're not looking at it on three monitors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs>
<laughs> One thing I will add uh, to the Wayland thing, if you're mm. running just your run-of-the-mill Intel laptop, yeah, you can use Wayland. It's fine. Mm -hmm. That would be yes. a good use case for it. Mm -hmm. Like, I legitimately be like, yeah. yeah. It's not as wow. some people have claimed. It's like, oh, there's so much less blow that it's so much faster. No, it's exactly just as fast as X. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, you're not even going to be able to tell the difference, which is kind of where you want to be. No, Pedro, <laughs> it, it looks better. <laughs> yeah. Joe, <laughs> oh, come down been. on your audio just a bit. You were clipping. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> it, it was up higher than usual because you had me bring it up. So. <laughs> yep. It, we got to yeah. get it dialed in because we got it up, <laughs> then you got louder. Yes. <laughs> I doing, did. <laughs> we're doing good when you're talking. We just got to get it. I got to get you smashed in. We're coming. Okay. It's easy enough to do. We'll have it down by next episode. Okay. Mm hmm. Elementary OS. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there was a new version of that yeah, came out. Yeah, new version. They talked about it yesterday on Linux Unplugged. In fact, yeah, he w uh, the creator was on. Yeah, I saw some screenshots. Mm -hmm. I saw someone was doing a video. It wasn't work, so I didn't have audio. So, um, I just saw them like running around. It's like, yeah, yeah it it still looks like elementary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who else is on WT Social? The new hotness. <laughs> that I apparently made an account on that just a me an email. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that is. It's the <laughs> uh, new social network from the creator of uh, Wikipedia. Oh. Yeah. WT Social. What the social? Oh yeah, I saw. I remember seeing that green. <laughs> now that I clicked on the link, I remember yep. seeing that green. <laughs> and put them in there three times next week, Arthur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that bot was pretty good. Let's see how many times it repeated. <laughs> Pedro, are you not a moderator in Twitch chat? I am a moderator in Twitch chat. Alright, like next time that happens, I'm gonna need a little help. <laughs> okay. You know, I, listen, I like a challenge. <laughs> like switching the show, then taking care of that on top of it. I ran out of arms. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, looking at that. The moment you flipped the camera to me, it's like, oops, alright. <laughs> looking at it? What, were you providing moral yeah. support? <laughs> no, I was on I was on the uh, Twitch dashboard mm. and I was doing like the thing. It's like, oop, okay, uh, we're talking. <laughs> See, Arthur, I don't give you a bit of advice. Anybody who volunteers to be a moderator, never get that person as a moderator. Mm. That has nothing to do with you. That is something I've learned about building online communities for the past 20 years. Learned that. Mm hmm. Oh, thank you, Arthur, and he reported it. Yeah, thank you, everyone who reported it. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to. I didn't. I, I, would you ever want to be a moderator? Yeah. <laughs> want is a strong word. Like, I've actively. I told people to go stop it. Some of them are in chat. They're like, hey, would you be a moderator for. Nope. <laughs> I say. <laughs> yeah, all right. uh, and yeah, I didn't mind uh, actually doing that on Google Plus because yeah, the yeah. Linux gaming community was. Uh, I did self-moderating <laughs> uh, <laughs> for the most part. It was just actually yeah, taking care of the spammers and removing the um, the porn before a lot of people saw it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I if it's something that I'm invested in, mm -hmm. I don't mind doing it. But yeah, no. <laughs> Not my choice. <laughs> Conversations, groups. Yeah, Katana, I mean, it's something I've always like, dealt with. Um, I, I just have that rule because I made that mistake of asking for volunteers. Now my thing is, if I ask for volunteers, pro tip. I'm making a list of people that are not <laughs> going to be doing that. <laughs> Pro tip, though. I mean, if you find yourself in that position, we're like, hey. Mm -hmm. That's not 100%. You got people that really want to like, hey, man, anything I can do to help out. They get caught up in that net. You know, you can't paint everyone with a wide <laughs> brush. But when you're in a hurry, it's always a safe bet. Because the people that want that power trip, 100%. Mm. We'll show up. Yeah, I was a moderator for the Fadantu forums. <laughs> I oh. was a moderator for uh, the little forum um, that at one point it was just me who was the only person who had admin access to it that was still active. <laughs> uh, for the university, like the um, free Wi-Fi movement. That we've managed to get some sponsorship to get everyone mm. uh, free Wi-Fi, uh, at least near the campus where I was studying. And yeah, th I was the only one who had any kind of admin access that had access to the back end of the uh, PHPBB forum. That's where I learned a lot about PHPBB. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one's... I'll take that over V-Bullet in any day, though. Um, mm-hmm. I gotta manage it on the back end. The if you want to see like the end result of like taking volunteers for and like having competitions and like tryouts for moderators, it's called Reddit. Seems <laughs> <laughs> like oh, that's why the moderators are such jackholes. Yeah. Hmm. These, those are the type of people that they, they put that on their resume, on their CV. They're like, I'm a moderator. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, no, I, I, the, yeah, the Linux gaming community on G Plus, it had uh, five digits worth of members, but that's not nowhere anywhere near uh, my CV. <laughs> no. It's just like, you do it. Like as a volunteer thing, you're like, ah, all right, no, I'll do that. I mean, I don't know. It wouldn't terrify. Or it might surprise some of you. I mean, I'm a mod on Reddit. I know, right? Talking about myself, but um, <laughs> I'm not an active <laughs> mod. To the point, if I ever was ever demodded from a couple of subreddits, I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's not like I did anything. Yep. My the Reddit account that I used to lurk is uh it's got nothing. <laughs> I'm the same <laughs> My Reddit account is coming up on the thirteen year badge. Yeah. Yeah, I made that one when I deleted my other one that I used to use. It's like, okay, I'm just going to take this username because I don't want anyone else using it. But now I'm squatting on it, basically. <laughs> That's what I do. It's like the just in case <laughs> thing. Usually I can come in there and like get Ven, but I always try to make sure we get Linux Gamecast just in case. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Social media back end stuff. Hmm. So, what are our recommendations for PCIe by one video cards? Besides the seven ten, passively cooled. Uh, uh, there's some matrox options. <laughs> 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 Well, you're telling me words. I need to see links. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> let's see. I think I have one. Yeah, I have a... Uh... Let me see. <laughs> Okay, apparently I asked people to go dig up their old hardware. I'm gonna get a refill. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there. One of them. This one's not passive, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's, uh, 710. <laughs> that one's by 16, so, yeah. Doesn't fit. <laughs> okay. Just, yeah, my my seven one of my seven thirties is passive. Oh, yeah, it has to be to by find... one though. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, there's a Steve. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Yay. So you decided to sneak in while Ven was away. What's up? Hello. 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 <laughs> How loud am I? Loud Not very loud at all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, good. Let's just see how long it takes Ven to notice. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, you need to be a bit more enthusiastic about it. We. <laughs> All right, need some work, but all right. <laughs> penguin, 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 penguin. We scale. We need to bring up scale a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> scale that mountain. <laughs> ah, oh, well, it's weird being home on a Wednesday afternoon. Oh yeah, your body's still adjusting to vacation time. Yeah, and of course I have to tiptoe around the house because someone's podcasting. So. <laughs> oh, Jill says get closer to the mic, closer to the mic. So yeah, yeah my don't worry off, about it. You, you won't get loud. <laughs> no, okay. So yeah, here it is, my uh, day off, and I'm building models again. So, but this is this one's fun. This is for the um, Mattel Children's Hospital charity auction, where uh, people of the company decorate a Christmas ornament. And um, people bid on it, and the company actually matches the, the proceeds. So oh, it's, nice. It's for a good cause, <laughs> yeah. Um, I only had one weekend last year. Uh, and I made a little car. It went over really well. So you now everyone's nice. expecting me to out, outdo myself this year. So, so you're doing not BB-8? No, a uh, little steampunk <laughs> submarine. Oh, I say steampunk. <laughs> there, there's not enough gears on it, though. It's more just like a Victorian little fantasy submarine um, the nice thing is that since i design it i don't i design it so that i know that i can build it uh, in a timely fashion as opposed to my real job where people give me stuff i have to build that i can't finish in a timely fashion <laughs> um, what you're put under pressure really <laughs> that's your job <laughs> yeah yeah nothing to it you know what yeah I hurt my brain a little bit because it's put on headphones and I'll look behind me and I'm like, wait a minute. All right, just roll with it. <laughs> Pretend there's nothing wrong. <laughs> Hello. Oh, is there a... Oh. Gosh, this monitor is amazing. Wow. <laughs> you get used to it. one all of a sudden. That's as big as our TV. <laughs> this is bigger than my TV. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. One of the things you learn with a 43 inch monitor is you don't do full screen web browsing because it hurts your neck. It's too much moving around. You, you actually use a UHD monitor like you're supposed to in quadrants ish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pedro's way over there. Ben's over here. Other stuff here. Discord's down there. Yeah. And Bill's, what was she searching for? Oh, here. I can, uh... <laughs> Life insurance yes. policies. Um... Control H. Uh, it brings up the history. 
<laughs> well, that was a that was a pretty nice suggestion, Pedro. I was expecting something, you know, delete, delete, delete. <laughs> no. Oh no! See, I could tell you to Control Alt T and then do sudo rms uh, dash rf. I don't, I, everyone, uh, you, we have to appreciate that Pedro's first salvo is like, "This is how you spy on your significant other." I do it all the time. <laughs> Actually, no, I do a very good job of staying away from the two Windows computers in this place. <laughs> I catch it on the router. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, Atomic. As a matter of fact, we just got, I think it is a 55 inch. So, yes, yeah, so we're moving up in the world. Well, actually, it's fine. It's going to be the same size. When we're sitting on the couch, uh, we realize that the TV, if I gotten, if I get to mount the new one on the wall, which pushes it about a foot further back. Um, so, the whole thing was going to shrink. So we had to we had to upsize just to keep the same visual space in our eyeballs. But there you have it, Linda. Yeah, the, the Nori was running um, Ubuntu Mate on her laptop, uh, and it's like, yeah, I'm going to need to be able to run Photoshop because that's what everyone is expecting it, it me down to run. To this. Um, <laughs> she was either going to run Windows or leave them. So. <laughs> And, you know, Pedro had already, like, made plans to convert the other side to home theater, but... <laughs> oh, you, that is pretty pretty quick, Steve. Normally it takes, like, 30 minutes before you get into the, um, hey, I'm on the TV thing. Oh, well, you didn't see what I was doing when you were gone. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't watch the live streams throughout the rest of the house, Steve. What imaginary world do you live in? I want to come you'll, visit. You'll have to edit some parts out. I don't record the Actually, live streams. I, I did make an appearance in the, the pre-show. Um, no one noticed. Yeah, my, my head sort of poked in. Oh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, back here at the door. Oh, this is weird. Was wow. this while was I was? Uh, I, I love the toilet. <laughs> this is fun. It's like watching everybody's first time. They're like, "Wait, oh, oh! Remember the first time you did that? Like, that's different." <laughs> Mirror reflection. See, Jill doesn't trust you. She's already checking up on you. No, Jill's been watching the entire time. She immediately was like, oh, "Let's go see what Steve says." <laughs> Either that or the stream delay, and she, she just got to like the uh, control H thing. She's like, whoa, whoa, mm -hmm. whoa. <laughs> ah. Help, I'm being attacked. So, there's a ravenous animal. <laughs> blink, blink. Steve, you survived the holidays. They didn't put you in an early grave this year, but it seems like not from lack of trying. Yeah, so our, our holidays are in the summer, as far as work schedule is concerned, or even before. Um, it used to be we had two big seasons a year. Uh, by the time products getting shipped over here, you have to sort of count backwards, you know, the development cycle, subtract that, and that's when we're busy. Um, we're busy all year round now. It's, hmm. I don't understand it. There's no more downtime. It Rapid consumerism, toll. baby. Yeah, uh, Amazon. <laughs> All year long. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, come on, then. We have grown adults that now it's perfectly socially acceptable to have toys in your house. There are entire YouTube channels dedicated to grown-ass men just reviewing toys. <laughs> Strange It's funny, as the... Um... You know, as the, the tools get faster, rapid prototyping and computer modeling, um, what happens is, is they just squeeze the schedule up. So it doesn't really give you any more breathing room. They just uh, start expecting more with more done with uh, fewer people. So that's that's what that happens. That's how that happens. I remember a picture of a soldier. He was just covered and he had, a, a, you know, Grenades, massive grenades, a backpack, rifle. I didn't know you did work for Disney. Goggles, all those stuff. He said, <laughs> he said, the weapons are getting lighter, but the soldier's load never gets lighter. 
Oh, no. So they, they made everything lighter and they just pile more on them. <laughs> so there, it's still 120 pounds of stuff. Yeah. Now go Big run. Sack, man. <laughs> what are you looking forward to doing now that, I mean, uh, you're going to get you got least, a month off. Well, I'm just saying, man, like you'll get a solid four, sometimes six days before you go like legitimate stir crazy. And it's like, I got to get something going on. I got to get a project. Yeah, well, like I say, I, this, um, the, the, the charity thing's happening right now, so I, I have to build that. And then afterwards, I don't know. I have to sort of, like, find out who I am again. Oh, where, Nothing where did I leave off? Oh, I fills guess. me with more joy than I hopefully planting the seeds of dread into someone. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a little late there. <laughs> that's, that's fertile ground. <laughs> Crowded. Yeah. Okay, I'll see what I can. I'll work on a little self doubt. <laughs> um. Oh, so you are making a model, huh? That's cool. What do you you made the uh, circle thing last year? Oh yeah, the little car. Yeah. So um, yeah. So this year, oh, I, I guess you were out when I was talking about. It. So yeah, this year it's going to be like a Victorian slash steampunk submarine. So hmm. Strider was correct. He he nailed it on the pictures uh, a couple days ago. So, oh, another uh, pro tip. So become a patron. Patron? patron. Go to Patreon. Become patron. a patron. Um, and then so in the Discord, uh, I will be posting pictures of works in progress continually as this thing comes together. So you get to see it all there. Because I'm old and I'm not on whatever the kids are on these days. I'm not into, I'm not on Photo Bucket or facebook or whatever yeah. whatever <laughs> photo bucket has been a thing for a few years there steve <laughs> just saying <laughs> listen man social media died with myspace <laughs> <laughs> and friends do what did we do before that man it really wasn't um sent letters letters oh you mean like written I'm, correspondence I, I said good letters <laughs> yeah xerox wacky stuff and draw all over it and and I would see how much, uh, you know, post office art you could do on the letter and still have it reach its destination. So you, <laughs> you were just being a hipster because during that time I was faxing that. To people. Fax spam was real. This is a very solid oh, attack yes. vector. Yes. Especially Which solid black we sheets. Still, That's how you knew I was angry at you. I would send a letter plus a solid <laughs> black sheet after that. <laughs> Oh, I remember because my dad had a fax machine and the thing was still getting spam. And I'm like, does anyone even use faxes anymore? This is like medical you know, offices. Trust me, I know this. <laughs> wow. Yep. Oh, Live Journal. Yep. Mm -hmm. Remember Live Journal? Like the Live beginning of, not the beginning, but microblogging. Yeah. All right. That wasn't microblogging. That was a. That was a full on blog. Yeah. <laughs> People desperate for attention with no audience. Live drone. Yeah, that was the thing, man. We're talking like 2000, 2002. You were a spry young man just in your 40s. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was unhip before it was cool to be unhip. <laughs> there you go. What does that mean? Wait a minute. Then he was, me and your dad were getting along. <laughs> Something tells me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta bounce. I gotta it's bounce. nice here. It's raining. It's raining all day. It's good. You know, you got to imagine. It'll put out the fires. You're right. It's like, <laughs> well, yeah, there is that. Nice change of pace from fire. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because this is the kind of day I would dream about occasionally. It's like. You know, I leave and I have to go to work and it's sort of gray and drizzly. It's like, oh, I just want to stay at home. Mm. You know, tea, the cat, it's raining outside, peaceful. And um, here it is. Except now I'm talking to you guys. So Overcast and great. <laughs> Listen, you can't have them. Can't win it all, man. Can't win it all. <laughs> Overcast and great is a great time to like get out and do stuff during the day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So 100% chance of Jill occurring this afternoon. Hello. Speaking of which. <laughs> oh, no, no, now, now it's getting to the point. Now it's a game because now this is the second visit. This is like, are you done yet? This is Jill going. I, I'm starting to get that. Yeah. 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 This, is, this is the hover Jill. 
It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got to see how long we Oh, now the arm's getting crossed. This is great. Mm -hmm. We can ride this for another 10 minutes <laughs> easy. <laughs> this is good content. Uh, you have to do it. We can ride this out. I'm going to go feed See the how long it'll take her. <laughs> save the kids. And... All right. See you, Bye, Steve. Chat. Have a good one. See ya. Bye, guys. Take care. Oh, uh, and Ven, going back to your question from earlier, the uh, NVIDIA Quadro NVS295. Did you give me a link? I did not give you a link, but I can get you one. And you, you did one. not give it to me. <laughs> Here's what... It's like... Uh, I'm not uh, brave enough yeah. to stick this <laughs> in. Oh. This is a fully loaded, like, called S3... Um, Verge DX. I put yeah. it over yeah. my sunboxes. And... This one may seem a bit expensive because it's uh, ebay.co.uk, but uh, they are cheaper. You can get ones for like $9 that I found. <laughs> um, P and Y. Mm -hmm. See, this yeah. is the weird thing. Um, this has got to go in Jackbox, so preferably passive. This passes mm. the passive test. I need the buy eight slot for the Ether Noodle card. That's buy one. That's buy one. PCI or PCIe buy one. So we're going to head over to eBay in America. Uh, yeah, like the one Katana, Pennywise that's what I was just gonna... uh, showed up there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like that. See so yep. our parts department's already doing research? Yes. I mean Pennywise. <laughs> 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 I, I put out that call on Discord earlier today, isn't it? Kaji um, needs wares. <laughs> yeah, then I have tons Kajit of old... coin uh, if you have wares. <laughs> passive uh, cards, old um, oh, wow. Radeon the... HDs, 5100 series, <laughs> and uh, uh, Katana just posted the GT730. I've got several of those. There's one, 20 mm -hmm. bucks. That, that that's pushing the top end of what I'm willing to pay for something that is uh, genuinely we're talking about in the, the NVS um, 290. <laughs> the pre shows and it's like I was genuinely surprised somebody because I have a B three fifty AMD board that I, the Tomahawk doesn't boot unless it has a video adapter. I'm like, doesn't somebody yeah. just make a little wired thing in there to make it think it's got a video display at it? Because that's all. I need. Yeah, I got lots of ones that are low profile single slot for all those small form factor systems I have. <laughs> well, this is going to be a full height bracket. This is another weird hard mode. Uh, it's okay. like, yeah, I need the 1X full height. Pass. Full height. Like, what are you drinking? And it was like, <laughs> <"1X."> <laughs> we have to do stuff like this, man. This is how we save money, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the well, that one I posted has a uh, full height bracket, but yeah, the, apparently they are very much more expensive than they are here for some reason <laughs> you scrapped the nvs what's which one's the nvs was that the one i was just looking at uh that's uh the one i posted is the nvs 295 so the one, one that uh that's the 290 but close enough yeah <laughs> that's a good dvi port for like just in case yeah that seems to be yeah, it's a tiny bracket yeah does it have a full height on it though that's that's like one of the weird catches because it's useless unless I have a. Uh... Yeah, that's that's yeah, because that's a low profile. That's why I dug out a PCI card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you know a Ryzen Seven motherboard, which wasn't a cheap one, has two PCI slots. Reasons I don't. Yeah. <laughs> like I would have traded those for another. Um, uh, the NVS three hundreds, yeah. There's some NVS three hundreds that have the full height bracket. And yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed talking to Steve Husband. I realize he hasn't talked to Vin and Pedro in ages, so that was fun. <laughs> yeah, he he assumed that you were just angry at him. No, <laughs> no. Hovering. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, but he was. Give me, give me like an itemized thing of what you got, dude. I'll give you a good price on them. 
Um, let me balance out what I'd pay you on because it's already cool. on the. Uh, give everyone, give you an idea of what I'm looking at. Uh, the video card is going to be optional. Like I'm, I'm not against like throwing that. This is what I'm looking at right here. Ignore the green cables. This is my Christmas theme <laughs> that I'm working on. <laughs> is the quad port, four port, i three forty. T4. That's going to work. That's going to give me four ports, which I'm going to use three. Then two of the old but reliable Pro 1000 PT dual ports. So each of the jack box, this box, and this box will have one for internet and one just for jack audio with that three meg of bidirectional UDP that confuses all routers. Yeah, this one is uh, ninety nine dollars, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if you can find something like that. Because <laughs> it's got the full height. It's even got the that particular seller even includes the smaller um, mm -hmm. bracket. Right. And it is passive. It is on the buy one slot. And. It comes with a DVI splitter. <laughs> yeah, so some of the um, AM AMDs, uh, the passive ones, but like, yeah. the hard mode catch is that that's the only way to get video out of them is with a proprietary DVI splitter that ATI shipped at the time that broke yeah. it into two <laughs> DVI things. The optiplexes, see, this is like the extra hard mode. Like those, I have one free by eight slot, and that has to be low profile. Yeah. Because opt. Yeah, the top one I posted comes with two display ports. The two nine five. That's cool. That's like two more. It than has I two need. display port outs. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimately, the moral of the story is, is I'm getting out of doing this with ten gig NICs, which would be easy enough to do, but it would cost twice as much. Joe, let me borrow some of your 10 gig cards. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Fire <laughs> MV. Dual display port. The 2260. <laughs> yeah, the GT730 uh, allows three monitors. That was what that was the card I used in the small form factor. Dell, I had taken that the one scale is twenty four dollars, <laughs> but it's more expensive than that. Yeah, our budget for the video code <laughs> is like I don't want to pay one twenty bucks for something like a genuinely. It's going to go there now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a cut it on just, switch. Yeah, it just needs to be sit there. Mm -hmm. But I feel slightly more comfortable than you know having something that wasn't twenty six years old. Yeah. Floating around in a box <laughs> that's required for production. Because if Jackbox yeah. goes poof, uh, show don't happen. Oof. Yeah, I was going to say the Radeon HDs. It's, are, it's um... $24 on. <laughs> hey, man, that's what you posted. eBay. It's $24 on eBay. <laughs> okay, one of the things. <laughs> One of the things I've learned, though, because I find myself like with these weird, bizarro, stupid requirements for things. There's markets for these things, though. Yes. Yes. <laughs> People in situations much like yours. <laughs> They're like, oh, well, you know what? We have new old stock and we know you don't have options. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, if you get anything on hand, just give me an idea what you get on hand. and Because I'm going to try to... <laughs> oh, there's the cable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that doesn't look like the cable. But that could be the other end of the cable, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me an idea, because this is like an order I want to go ahead and get placed one way or the other. 
I think I'll I'll bank on see if you can find a video group anyways. Let me let me just take care of the um network stuff. I'll just yoink that on Amazon. Yeah, then the old uh, Radeon HDs uh, uh oh that one's I'm sorry, that one's not the passive. There's another one that's passive. Um uh they're very inexpensive. You can get them for twenty dollars and under on eBay. Very fine. I have a couple of those that are passive. I'd rather give, uh, yeah, that's my thing. Like, I could pull that off eBay. I know if I get it from um, Penny Bay and give Penny yeah. Bay a couple of dollars, he'll, and I know it'll be tested. Yep. Yeah, he'll or test at it. Least, well, <laughs> at least he'll lie to me and say it got damaged in shipping. <laughs> yes, this is true. <laughs> he would at so least at show least me that as courtesy. good as an eBay person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Heat sink only. Here it is. Here's one for twelve dollars and nineteen cents. <laughs> Barco. Oh, this can't be, <laughs> I can't be burning money, Jill. Jeez, this one's nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have a box of those because those those were cards I just used for testing and Genuinely whatnot. Genuinely have a box. And... I haven't made one offer to send me one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I just thought about it because it's been a while since I thought about this it. This entire time. I can send you one. <laughs> I didn't think about it until, oh, yeah, I do have that box <laughs> full of them. <laughs> yeah, the 1450 Fire Pro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That does all the requirements. Except for that, like, bizarre way. That's got that. Yeah. That does require mm -hmm. that. That I would. Mm. Hey, the 6450 can do Vulcan, <laughs> too. <laughs> it's right at that, that generation where there was the transitioning <laughs> Vulcan support. <laughs> was that GCN? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he was, I'll make you a deal, buddy. Uh, I'll take care of the network stuff. If you can find me something that meets that criteria, you know what they are, I'll, send you, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. Aw. Yeah. Nice, Pennywise. Mm-hmm. Because I'd rather pay extra than and just get something I know that works. Plus, you're within driving distance if need be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I have. A, you know what? Oh, that's what it was from. I was trying to remember. Vision Tech. You know, they 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 were um, uh, doing big uh, lots on auction, like a, a box, and you know they would have a box of 20. I have several of those boxes and I haven't even been through them all. <laughs> but the ones I pulled out and tested did work. <laughs> and I got these big boxes full of them for like 30, 40 bucks. All the while there's <laughs> people like me actively in need of these things. So like, <laughs> no, they're so, in my box, can... <laughs> in my collection. <laughs> yes, they're part of my collection. But I'll send I you one, Ben, of course. Of them. But anyway, gonna send me one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let Pennywise, uh, and it's Patron. always going to be interesting because mm -hmm. Pennywise is a semi box. There's going to be like three or four fucking things I didn't ask for. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we'll unbox. <laughs> That's very cool. <laughs> now, everybody yeah, give Pen DMS everybody 59. Can thank Pennywise yeah. because Pennywise <laughs> sent us the uh, CPUs and the extra RAM bits for these Optiplexes that got them up and running. Nice and smooth. Yeah, that connector is... That's the only thing I don't like about that connector is like on that one chance I do need display out for F all reason that like, ah, oh. <laughs> Go to eBay. What's that connector cost? $600. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's DVI. Oh, worst dude. comes to worse. <laughs> yeah, that that's my other problem with that. It's like I could probably cheese a pin out on that. I, I don't need to spend an entire afternoon doing that because I know me and I will. And it's like, okay, let's get some wire. <laughs> we can make this work. <laughs> that was like the um connector for the black magic card, the breakup cable. Mm. Two hundred dollars if you buy one new. Yeah. <laughs> Two hundred hundred and ninety nine if you buy it new in the box with the card. <laughs> All in, you get the cable, the card, and everything. Two hundred bucks for the cable. 
Yeah, Pennywise, <laughs> did you ever take advantage of those uh, of those auctions um, by Vision Vision Tech when they would? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. They they used to do this every year. Vision Tech, the 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 company was actually do it, and you put a, a bid on a box full of mystery cards, and I did that a few years in a row, <laughs> just to get a bunch of cheap ones for testing Hoarding. and customers. <laughs> Hoarding, yeah. <laughs> but it was neat that they did that. They would take oh, yeah. their their old stock and then just give it real cheap, you know, mystery box. And I got some good cards in there, from there. I never did that. <laughs> the closest thing to that is I bought a few um, semi-truck tractor trailer loads of uh, stock from Best Buy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a thing. Because we could just do a bit on that. And they were normally, you know, it. The, nice. you couldn't inspect it. You could walk around, you know, some of the pallets and be like, bah, bah, but it was pretty much just the load. And you could get that. Yeah. Oh, I think we'd pay like. Yeah, fifty, fifty-five thousand for it, and we yep. could turn that nice. out. But that is way too much work for very little profit. I get tired of that. Yeah, that. yeah, that's a hard. Yeah, yeah, for a while there, there were a bunch of videos of people buying like the Amazon uh, returns boxes. Ah. You'd like do a bid for like three hundred, four hundred dollars, and, you just and get you'd it in get bulk, and several get. box okay. fulls yep. of Amazon returned items. There were a couple of YouTubers that's like, holy crap, this is a $1,500 laptop. <laughs> yeah, there's no power there's... brick, but this is a $1,500 laptop. <laughs> right. <laughs> I didn't get any, did I think, anything good to you. We had to sell because we we're trying to get our money yeah. back. That kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool, mm -hmm. Pennywise. Hit me up with those deets and uh, we'll work something out. I'll send you some pictures of Pedro sleeping or something. <laughs> uh, Nori has a few of those. Yeah, I she gave him. Yeah, even has a couple of videos of me snoring like crazy. Didn't want the snoring stuff, but Nori wanted some games, so we worked out. <laughs> this seemed harmless to her at the time. It's not her fault. Don't blame her. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I baby, <laughs> let me get some pics of, of your boyfriend sleeping. <laughs> yeah. uh, That's the only way to enjoy it, Pennywise. <laughs> all right, beautiful people. Mm -hmm. I gotta go make a show. Okay. Gotta do that thing. Gotta turn the data bits. Mm -hmm. And I gotta remember to... I get, I, hey, I gotta get a whiteboard. Okay, here's a couple things. We're not getting an LED... Fuck Walt. Mm. <laughs> Something tells me you looked into that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> yeah. The logistics, it's doable because I got really high ceilings. And I can mm, yeah. bring this mm -hmm. down that it's... Uh, we could do the shot. It would be workable. And like, a, they were all in inches. I think it's like... 40, 42 inch. It's not bad. It's like 200 bucks or something like that for a nice one. But that's too much. I couldn't find one that had like Wi-Fi that it, they're all fresh out of China too. With like the English is bad and the description on the page to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like if it ever dies, womp womp. Even from Amazon, you know, then you gotta wait like five months. So... I'm kind of looking at an LED backlit. I know they probably still make them. I used to get them for the bar because, you know, like these LED mm. lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's effectively that built over glass and they're not very oh, heavy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So you can use uh, yeah. chalk markers and we could do it that way. And Those then are I cool. Got to get this one framed and hung up somewhere. So there you go. There's some behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week and Jordan will be back tomorrow with um, the stylings of whatever he comes up on the walk back from work to his house <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Friday I might be finishing or attempting to finish um, Wolfenstein Ah, because we've cool. never put a bow on that we've got to the Venus Nazi space base <laughs> <laughs> Which I stopped playing that 
like no coincidence whatsoever. It just so happened I quit playing that like right when I got a trackball mouse because I didn't want to embarrass myself online more than I normally do. Um, I think I'm competent enough with the trackball now to fumble my way through the rest of it. I think that there's going to be some mm -hmm. Devil May Cry 5. It'll be a thing. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay. Keep being awesome. Bye, Bye everyone. <laughs> we love you. Let's get swifty.